Okay. I tried to answer this one last week, but my internet was, my power was out. My internet was out for two, three days. Like, I, I was, could not get back to it. But this one right here, they said SC, SSCP maps to IA level 2 on the 8140, which makes it equivalent to the Security Plus in that regard. And I believe that's true. But what he means, let me see, which one is he responding to? He's talking to me about when I compared the SSCP, the Security Plus, and the CISSP. Somebody asked me years ago, what, which one should they get? Which one did I recommend? And I don't remember what I said there, to be honest with you. But I can, I'm pretty sure it's not any different than what I'm about to say now. But I want to answer this. I want to interpret what they're saying here because this might sound like gibberish to some people. So what they're talking about is this right here is a security this is a, a cyber certification and security plus is a cyber security certification and we were comparing these three this one and CISSP as well so the SSCP is actually on this site right here let me show you what we're talking about here so if we go to the ISC2 site just go here we go if we go to their certifications page we'll see a list of their many certifications here. So you can see that the CISSP, there's the SSCP that we're talking about right there. Um, and then there's the CAP that we just talked about a while ago. We talk about this every now and then on this channel. Security Plus not on here because that's on CompTIA. Now, what they were doing to compare these, what he mentioned was something called the 80, this is something I talk about quite a bit on this channel, 8140, certification it's like a certification guide and it's really good for cybersecurity people who are going into the federal or the state government because this federal and state government oftentimes will use this little breakdown here and what he was talking about is first of all let me explain this thing real quick so what you're looking at is the approved baseline for certifications for the federal government which many other organizations outside the federal government actually use including state including contractors working with the state and federal government in the United States. They use this thing because they need it for contracting. If you want to get a big contract with the government, a lot of times they'll say, look, we want to hire a help desk team, but you have to be IAT level one. We need five. You need to have at least five people who, who are IAT level one. And what they would mean, what they mean to say by that is, okay, I think I just went to this person's site by accident, but let's see if we, have a better representation from here okay yeah here we go here we go right here so what they mean by that if they said if the government says hey we want f your team has to have at least five IAT level one people that that means that they should have these certifications right here an A plus a CCNA a network plus or a SSCP and I believe there's some other things that you can mix and match with these certifications if you have I think it's six years or something like this don't quote me but so if you have f six years of experience you don't need a certification or if you have a degree plus four years of experience you can have this X level certification or whatever right you can mix them and match them and stuff all that stuff's broken down a little bit further I believe and it's it's in the cybersecurity workforce document 8140 I think that's what it is but anyway it the breakdown of it, it looks a little something like this. So IAT level one. Now, what this guy was talking about was that uh, IAT level two SSCP certification, which is a ISC2 squared um, certification, is at the same level as a security plus, which is right here, a CompTIA certification. So if you got either one of these, according to the federal government, you're, they're, they're pretty much these are the same level. I will say that both of these are great at preparing you for the CISSP. So that's, I just wanted to interpret that, break that down a little bit.